Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Aquarius for March of 2020. Um, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to say welcome. And if you're coming back, I want to say thank you uh, for liking, sharing, and subscribing these videos. The more you do that, the more people get to see them and get the help that they need. All right. Um, in this video, you are going to get the message from Spirit as well as the energy healing to go along with it. So you want to stay tuned. And I do pull some more cards throughout the energy healing. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the little bell notification. I am going to be going live a little bit more on here. So make sure you hit that so you get notified. And I do have a master class coming up on March 3rd um, on at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a live master class um, to teach you how to heal your life with the power of energy healing. So you want to check that out. You can register for that down in the description box below. All right, let's see what's going on. Um, wow, lots of, lots of stuff. <laughs> lots of stuff happening. Let's get the last two cards and then I will let you know what's going on here. All right. So the overall energy here is the Ace of Wands. So this is new beginnings for you. This is, you know, the wands have to do with work. So this could be something with a job, you know, um, something new coming in for you here. Now, remember that these are general readings. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And you can check out your moon and your rising signs as well. But this is a beautiful, beautiful card for your overall energy of March. So keep your eyes open for this and just know that the possibilities are endless. You've got the Nine of Pentacles in the beginning of March. You've got the King of Pentacles. You have the Eight of Cups and you have the Emperor card. So that Nine of Pentacles is my single card. This is my independent card. So you definitely could be, you know, starting the month out by yourself, um, single. You got the King of Pentacles energy, so I feel it suits you. You've got this beautiful energy that is just knows and trusts in the universe. And you've got the Eight of Cups followed by the Emperor. So very powerful energy, very independent, you know, no you know what you can do. You got the Eight of Cups, so I feel like you're you're walking away, but you're also walk, walking towards something as well. And with the Emperor card there, this is your power. This is your strength. So, you know, these new beginnings with the Emperor and the King of Wands flat out in the front, in the beginning of the month, I do feel as though there's new beginnings for you, you here to stand in your power, to stand in your strength, to know what you can do. So this could be, you know, as an entrepreneur, this could be as a coach, this could be as a mentor here with the emperor and the king of pentacles, very, very powerful energy. So embrace that energy, find that energy with inside of yourself because it is there. Um, if you can't find it right now, it's because of this. The middle of the month here, you've got the Ten of Swords, you have the Five of Pentacles, you have the Four of Pentacles, and we've got the Ace of Wands. Now, I've done, I think this is my fourth reading today. This is my fifth, and out three of them have had this in the middle of the month. So I know the moon is coming in, I think it's around the ninth or so, but I feel as though it is stirring the pot. It is stirring the pot. You've got the Ten of Swords. So there's something that is completely done here. Like all these swords in the back, there's no coming back from this. So you've got to let go of whatever this is that is just over. It's done. You got to let it go. Um, you've got the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So this is telling me here it could have to do with work, could have to do with money, could have to do um, with any kind of abundance that you were feeling. But with the Ten of Swords right before the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, I'm going to give you a little bit of tough love here where it's you cannot pity yourself on this. Do not stay in the victim mentality for too long here because you've got the Five of Pentacles, which again is feeling left out in the cold, feeling stabbed in the back here with the Ten of Swords, feeling like, you know, um, that victim mentality, and especially with the Four of Pentacles, not trusting anybody anymore, not trusting your money, not trusting the abundance, not trusting the universe. So you have a very good chance of 
getting down on this energy with this, this full moon energy. <laughs> I'm not an astrologer, so I can't tell you why, but I know like with the full moon when it's coming in, I believe we're still in Mercury retrograde. So it could be that together. Again, not an astrologer. You can let me know in the comments if you are. Let us know because I'm finding the trend here that in the middle of March, it is like it everything is hitting at once. And for you here, it feels like you're stabbed in the back. It feels like everyone's out to get you, like nobody cares. And then the four of pentacles, it, you know, it could cause you to shut down and not trust anymore. But with this ace of swords here, you're going to overcome this. I mean, it, it's, ugh. so you're going to overcome this. It's, it's, it's the same thing. Three really kind of like not so great cards. And then bam, it's like the breakthrough. So realize this is so important. Realize that when this shit happens like this in your life, and then the ace of swords comes in, you got the Ace of Wands as the overall energy. You have to realize that it's happening for you, not to you. And it's really important that you don't stay in that victim mentality for too long because you do have this Ace of Swords. And um, they're bringing my attention to a saying, and I hope I get this right, which I doubt that I will. But it's more like, you know, nope, now I just lost it. Um, but it's like, you gotta, you gotta... Something about like tearing you down to build you up. So that's what this is. Like there's no tower card here yet, but that's what I feel like is happening. You've got to hit that rock bottom. You got to lose it all in order to rebuild. And that's exactly what I'm feeling here with this Ace of Swords energy. So everything that's happening to you this month is, is going to happen. It's happening for you. And you might not be able to see the end result yet, but it is there. You have the strength to get it, right? God doesn't give you what you can't handle. So you have the strength. So just be very cautious with the words that you're using in your mind, what you're saying to yourself. You've got that five of cups. So you're looking at what is not there, what didn't happen, um, instead of all this abundance that's in front of you that you can't see yet. You got the queen of swords and you have the knight of swords here. So you got, I'm going to clarify this knight of swords, um, but... That Queen of Swords energy is about boundaries. It's about, okay, let's talk about that. So the Queen of Swords here is, because they're saying you could be harsh with your, with your tongue, right? Don't be harsh with your tongue. Queen of Swords energy is about setting the boundaries. And I just did a video about this in my Facebook group, about setting boundaries, but communicate that, okay, communicating them with love for yourself instead of anger and resentment because that gets you nowhere. So be very careful with what you say, how you say it to people, especially if they have um, done you wrong or, you know, um, especially if they're involved in this. Uh, you got that Knight of Swords. So this is rockiness. So again, Okay, so they're showing me like a baby falling down and like when they're trying to walk and they're falling down and they get up and they fall down. And um, so just realize that this is part of that process of um, getting yourself to where you want to be, getting yourself out of the rut, getting healing through your past. Um, let me see here. Oh, seven of swords, shadiness. So the end of the month, just be careful who you're hanging out with. Be careful of what your thoughts are. Be careful of... Yeah, I feel like it's you. So just make sure that you are really focused on your mindset at the end of the month, especially after you go through all, all of this, um, because they're making me feel like this new beginning here with this Ace of Swords, it's that baby walking. So you might be a little bit wobbly. This might be in your mind. It might be physically. It might be energetically. It might be like your connection to the divine. Like just be very cautious of what you're thinking and how you're, how, what words you're using, okay? You got the three pentacles, so you're going to have to work on some stuff there. It's like you're stepping into that next version of you, and it's going to be weird and uncomfortable in the very beginning is, is what I'm getting towards the end of the month. But just realize that you will adjust into this new energy, into this new person, into this new, uh, I'm hearing, persona, okay? So just go with it go with the flow because with the ace of wands here and and the ace of swords there like and the strength card and the emperor and the king of pentacles like there's no going wrong here as long as you just be careful with what you're thinking 
in what you're saying to yourself and to others here. All right, so we're going to do some energy healing and we're going to focus on here. I always go in with an intention. This Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and Four of Pentacles, a little bit easier is what I did in the other readings. Um, that full moon energy and the Mercury retrograde, you know, coming out of it. So just, again, don't try to figure things out so much. Just flow with the energy, flow with your feelings, but just be very cautious of what the thoughts are around it. All right, don't try to figure it out. Don't don't put any meaning to anything that's happening um, in the middle of March here. All right, so if you want to do energy healing, and again, remember, I do pull some more cards, so stay with me. Um, all you're going to do is just close your eyes and listen to some music, and I'm going to connect the divine energy with your energy in order to release any trapped emotions, blockages in your energy field. And again, with this intention, it's going to be kind of making this a little bit gentler on you. All right, so... Go ahead and close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And take another deep breath in. And let it out. Whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them flow out. Here we go.
Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And take another deep breath in. Give your body a nice stretch. And let it out. All right, so you've got the Judgment card. You have the Six of Swords. You have the Page of Cups. And you have the Two of Wands. So letting go of judgment, especially of others, especially of yourself. But you're letting go of something. You're leaving something behind. I love this card because as she walks, she just lets go. And that's especially important for you this month is just letting go. Letting it go. The Page of Cups here. Again, meditation, energy healing, focusing your mind. But you got the Two of Wands. So it's a decision here. Which way are you going to go? You can sit in that victim mentality here, or you can choose to... Now, there's a difference with sitting in the victim mentality and or pushing through, right? Or letting go. There's three different routes there. So sitting that victim mentality, obviously, you know what that feels like. But when you push through and you use that to motivate you, right? Sometimes that's not the best thing to do. Because you still have that resentment. You still have that anger inside of you. So you want to be able to just let go. Let go of it and choose a different path. Choose you. Choose the future. Choose what you want to do um, if something else doesn't work out there. Okay. So just make sure that you're really focused on your mind this month. And that, you know, staying in alignment with your connection to the divine connection to God, whoever you believe in. Okay. Um, but you got these two brand new beginnings here. So just realize again, that everything that's happening to you right now is for you, not to you and get out of that victim mentality by just letting it go and realizing that there's the universe is guiding you and that there's much more on its way to you. All right. So give me a thumbs up if that resonated. And if you like the energy healing, also leave me a comment below how this is resonating with you. And don't forget to register for the masterclass on March 3rd at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you want to do it with me live. And make sure you subscribe. And you can follow me over on Facebook if you haven't already. All right. Much love to all of you. Stay strong. You've got this. And I can't wait to see where you are on the other side of this, okay, at the end of March. All right. Much love to you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.